Hello everyone and welcome to the Massive Photo Uploader Tutorial. This program is great if you have a lot of albums and you want to upload them all with only one click. First we have to find uh, uh, the application and uh, you can just search for it in uh, Google. Massive Photo, yeah I have it here. And it should be the first hit. Oh there it is. Let's go there. So here you have the front page and you go to info and in info you have the download link. Oh shit, I have a lot of monthly users here. Anyway, press download and I save the file. You see this is in Swedish but that doesn't really matter. Okay, now it's downloaded. It's a zip file so you have to unzip it of course. Um, I unzip it to the same folder name. Let's close this one. So this is the folder with our application. And I have to enter another folder here. And here you see the jar file. You only have to double click on the jar file and it should open the application. Let's do it. And here it goes. If the application does not show up, then it's because uh, you have not installed Java. Now I, I will show you how the albums are organized. But let's do it from scratch here. I create a new folder called My Albums. I open the file. Let's create some imaginary albums here. So the root folder here is My Albums and I have three different albums. So I will um, put some images in these albums. So now in Massive Photo Uploader, I have to tell the application where the, my, my root is, in which all the albums lies. So I press Browse, we'll just close down the other shit here. You can also make the make it a little bit larger here, so you can see what's going on. Browse, and I choose the directory I just created. It's in desktop and it's uh, my albums. So this is all because here I can see all the three albums I have. I press open and now I will get a description here in the console um, about uh, what's happened. So each block here is actually one album as you can see. And you can see at the first block, the first album is called Hello Friends. Album description is set to none. The, uh, the second album is called My Holiday. And the third album is called Super Pictures of Me. And includes a koala image. And I can also see here that I have in total three albums and six images in total. Okay, and um, you also have two options avail available. And that is the visibility, and you all know that you might not want all of your all of the people that can see your profile to 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 see this uh, album. So you can set it on different levels, like friends, only your friends, and friends of friends. Uh, that's getting complicated, and everyone. That's for everyone to see, of course. Um, I want everyone to see these pictures because I'm so cool with this cool image. Uh, Resize, you can choose resolution and um, if I choose the resolution here it will automatically scale the image before it's being uploaded to Facebook. Uh, the problem with scaling is that it will uh, uh, make the image quality a little, little bit worse. Uh, so I choose none here so it will upload the original image. So this is the first time I'm using this application and when I press upload I'm gonna go through some uh, dialogues. You will see that in a moment. So I press upload and it says this is the first time. That's very funny. Uh, pr press OK to continue with the setup. Yes. Uh, first you need to authorize this application. It's, re it's recommended that you mark keep me logged in. Uh, press OK and now it will actually open uh, a browser and show that page and it says you have already granted permissions to these applications yeah I have already done that um, so I don't need to do that again press OK when the application has been authorized and it has been so I can press OK now okay 
it is much recommended that you allow um, to, mod to upload or modify photos without my, my approval each time. This option is necessary, otherwise you will have to, you, you need to approve each time um, you, you want to upload the photo. So I press OK and it says you have already granted permission. So I don't have to do that again because I've already done that. Sorry <laughs> that I can't show this step, but it's pretty easy. You just, you just have to click on a checkbox here somewhere. Press OK when done with the setup. OK, now I'm done with the setup apparently. I press OK. And now actually I was logged in and it says press OK when logged in and I am when I see this window. And I may close this window to return to the application. Okay, I will, let's do that. Press OK. Ah, so that's all, I think. So now it starts here to do the actual work of upload. And I can't press any other button here, as you see. Um, so it's uploading. It just created an album with this ID. This is not interesting for you. But visibility is set to everyone. And it says that it has uploaded these four images into this album, Hello Friends. And now actually it's creating my holiday album here. Let's check on Facebook. Ah, now it's actually finished already. So let's log in and see that everything is fine. Log in to Facebook. And uh, let's see here. Photos. my uploads oh there it is hello friends my holiday and super pictures of me and let's edit the album and look at the info and you see that everyone can see it now in privacy here so that's the that's the basic steps of uh, where how to work with this application you have some more advanced settings as well. If you go to the if you go to the folder and uh, you can check the uploader.properties file. This one is used for some if you want to make some configuration. And you see here that the max dimension is set to none. This is this is the resolution you might want to scale to. Um, visibility is set to everyone. This is what you already can set up here in, in the application itself. But here you have minimum size, which tells you that um, if, if an image is less than 10 kilobytes, then it will be discarded because it's assumed that it's a thumbnail. Um, but if you, don't, if you have images smaller than 10 kilobytes, then you should set this to 1 or 0 or something. These two settings are used if you have more than 200 images in one album. If that is the case, then this application will split the album into two Facebook albums. And it will use this delimiter um, and uh, concatenate it with one and two. So here you can change the delimiter if you want something else. I don't think space is working. These three things here, uh, you will not change. Those are specific to the application. These three things are your current session, and the session will expire, but you will not modify these. Upload the first time just tells you that this is the first time you actually run the application. And last directory is uh, it's saving uh, the, the last directory you were browsing. Let's say that one week has passed and things, of course, uh, will be different now. Uh, I have a new album um, taken, which was called my new summer images. I will fill it with uh, some images here. I fill it with four images. And let's say super picture of me, I actually have Another really super cool image of me, and that is uh, the penguins. So it has changed a little. I have a new album, and in this one I add an, an image. So, let's run the application again. And then I have to hit browse, that it updates the information. Open. And now you see that... 
Hmm. No, wait. Let's also say that I really want to have a description of this new album. To have a description, I have to create a file called data.txt. And in this file, I will have some description. This was the best, uh, the best summer of my whole life forever. Cool. So that will be the description. And I hit browse again, open. And now you can see that in the super picture of me, I have now two images. And I also have a new album here called my new summer images. And that one includes four new images. And now I want, uh, let's say, I want to scale it so it, it will be uploaded faster and only my friends will actually see this, this new album that is created. But the other ones will remain uh, the, sa the same visibility as when they were created. I hit upload and now it should start here. And now you can see that it's also resizing the images before it's uploading them. And it's resizing to this folder. Ah, it's finished. So all the resized images are put in this folder so, you, so that you can... Uh, you, have to, you have to remove them manually. For no reason. The best usage of this application is of course if you have hundreds and hundreds of albums which I had so that's why I created this application because I didn't find any other good application out there that could batch upload images by, by just pressing one button so that's the reason why I created this application I rather program Android games or create music and stuff you know but uh, on my page there's also a step-by-step -step tutorial but that one is pretty out of date now but you can read it and it will still apply uh, look, to, look at this ugly interface compared with nowadays uh, it's really ugly so uh, but still this tutorial uh, will apply most of it will apply to this uh, new version as well now now it's time for the more advanced uh, lesson and that's if you actually want to change something in this application because it's open and uh, you can find it on uh, github well if you go to github.com slash join us you will see massive photo uploader, uh, uploader here you click on it and uh, the easiest way is actually to hit the download source I will download it as a zip file of course, that's what I'm uh, used to. These uh, tar files, they seem a little bit scary. If you're not used to Unix or Mac. Uh, so now I just got it here. So I will unzip it. Okay. I got it here, you see I have all the source and it's actually a NetBeans project. So let's let's download and uh, open NetBeans. Of course I already have it installed. So let's open NetBeans. Okay, so let's now open project and I will go to my desktop. Here I will find the extracted zip file from github I double click on that one and here I from here I can open it open project and here I have everything this is the Facebook API it's pretty old uh, this application still relies on the old rest API but anyway it works fine here is the Phil Sacre files that I'm still using and here is my uploader files and here is the actual view so if you go to that one and in design mode you can do whatever with it you can for example change the browse here to hippie and press run 
and you will see that it reflects. Now it says hippie here instead. So now you can modify whatever you want and uh, do whatever you want. I just want to warn you because this code was created before I could even program in Java so the exception handling is exceptionally bad here as you see. I catch exception and everywhere and whatever. If you want to clean up the code, you're welcome and uh, and just send me a hint and uh, and uh, I will give you the right to uh, commit it to uh, GitHub. Okay, thank you very much. I hope you will have a nice summer and uh, take a lot of photos, of course. But don't forget to be in the action yourself sometimes.